I'm Terrell Spears, this is SAL News. The chemical incident at Schwann's a few weeks back prompted many questions from residents regarding the mass notification system, Code Red, that was used to alert residents of the incident. Code Red serves as the backbone of local emergency planning and communications outreach by using the system's capabilities to send telephone calls, text messages, and emails in an effort to effectively inform residents to protect life and property. Missing or endangered persons, prisoner escapes, evacuation notices and routes, hazardous material incidents, and drinking water contamination are instances in which Code Red will be utilized by city and county personnel. Residents living within Saline County are encouraged to subscribe to notifications and also provide additional contact information such as email addresses and cell phone numbers by visiting salina-ks.gov slash code red. It's Women's History Month and to kick it off, Ann Zimmerman read a proclamation at the City Commission meeting on March 6th. This event was followed by female officers who were featured in the Salina Police Department's Women in Blue ad joining citizens for a conversation and coffee at Ad Astra Books and Coffee House. Many special events and presentations to commemorate Women's History Month have taken place in our community and will continue until the last presentation titled Throw Like a Girl is held on April 6th at 5.30 p.m. at the Smoky Hill Museum. In this presentation, Laura Hartley will explore the landscape for women athletes before and after Title IX legislation and share how opportunities for women have impacted sports in our country. Hartley is a public historian and director of the Wichita Boathouse at the Kansas Sports Hall of Fame. For more information about this first Thursday's presentation, contact the Smoky Hill Museum at 785-309-5776. Can you guess what object is featured in this photo? Here's a hint. It's located on city property. If you think you know the answer, enter this contest for a chance to win four tickets valued at $68 to the Championship Bull Riding Showdown on March 25th at the Tony's Pizza Event Center. You can submit one answer one of four ways, and you must do so by March 22nd. You can text SAO News to 81680 and submit your answer when prompted. Call 785-833-8043 and leave a message with your name, number, and answer. Visit salina-ks.gov slash contest and complete the entry form or visit any of the city's Salina on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Google Plus and complete the entry form. Of the correct entries received, won't be selected at random and the winner will be announced on March 23rd. Good luck. The city of Salina is currently accepting applications for these full-time positions. Firefighter slash paramedic, Firefighter slash EMT, Firefighter Apprentice slash Paramedic, Police Officer, Director of Finance and Administration, Building Official, GIS slash Utility Technician, Landfill Operator, and Street Maintenance Worker. Open part-time and seasonal positions include Custodian and Flood Control Laborer. And for summer employment, the Parks and Recreation Department has openings in these divisions. Aquatics, Athletics, Buildings, Lakewood Discovery Center, Municipal Golf Course, Parks and Forestry, Recreation, Instructional, and the Special Populations Division. For more information about employment with the City of Salina, call 785-309-5710 or visit salina-ks.gov slash employment opportunities. You can also subscribe to the city's mobile job listing by texting City Jobs to 81680, and you will receive a link to job listings on a bi monthly basis. I'm Trail Spears, this has been SAL News.